Pro. Hello, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Um, today we're going to look at the um, long delay channel uh, in the Pro user tips. Uh, I've previously shown you the long reverb and the room reverb. Uh, this is the uh, long delay, so let's get into it. So I'll start with opening up my mixer. Here I've got my long delay channel and I've got the Waves Super Tap. I've got four taps and coming from the original source. So you'll hear the original source after which you'll get four taps. Uh, each tap here is panned hard left and right and each one is delayed at a slightly different time. Um, I've also got an EQ section on the end so basically what happens is as the delay decays um, it sort of EQs, rolls off the top end and so on just to make it decay into the distance uh, so that's it after that I've got an R channel again this is just sort of EQing it and shaping the sound I've rolled off all the bottom ends uh, put a big scoop in there and just sort of boosted the, the top so you get you know some nice little little delays uh, after that I have another fab filter again this just allows me to, to shape it a little bit more if I need to um, so that's basically it so we're going to use the sim stabs again that we used in the previous tutorial so I'll just solo these so that's the long delay there so as you can hear straight away just by slowly automating it up you've, you've created this this massive effect massive wash almost like a build-up of sound um, what you can do as well if uh, let's say you come into a breakdown you can build it up slowly ramp it up and then you're left with a uh, decaying tail into your breakdown instantly creates you know that sort of sweeping effect that you want without doing anything no automation at all really just sort of turning your delay on so you can use it like that alternatively you can just you know anything that's sort of um, percussive or slight plucky plucky sound you can hear there it's just underneath I'll turn it off so that's the sound dry there by itself just with a little bit on and you can hear there it gives it movement it's pushing it around because we've got it panned hard and left in the um, in the delay on the super tap let's hear it in the mix gives it a bit of rhythm So a really handy tool. So let's turn that off. Let's try it on one of these percussive instruments here. We've got a little noise stab. I've already assigned it. Let's turn it up a little bit. you can hear it does uh, loads of, of nice little effects all of which are really really useful you can use this accordance uh, in accordance with uh, in association if you like with the long reverb uh, in the previous tutorial it, you get that same sort of washing effect add a little bit of both of them together and it and it's amazing so yeah really really handy effect to have uh, in your arsenal again like I said the reason I have these is because um, it's just I've got instantly some go-to effects um, I can always tweak them a little bit, parameters, make the delay time slightly different. But once I start uh, moving on with my track and progressing with my track, I like to have stuff there straight away so I can already put a little bit of reverb on and go, oh yeah, great, that sounds sounds fantastic. So really, really useful tool. Uh, our next tutorial will be on the short delay, again, which is, is similar to this. Obviously, it just doesn't have as many taps. Um, but again, it, it's really handy just to start um, getting your track going and stuff so we'll talk more about that in the next tutorial again don't forget if you like what I do please subscribe to my channel and until next time bye bye
Pro. Pro. Pro.